Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts. And today, well, we're reacting to a kind suggestion. This one is Fred's unwanted dodgy guest from Sanford and Son. Let's see what happens. Great! Three of the nicest guys you want to meet. You look like you already been to a party, Bubba. You drunk. <laughs> yeah, I was celebrating the election results. I was celebrating McGovern getting elected. Hey, what's wrong with you, Bubba? Don't you know that Nixon got reelected? Nixon? Well, no, nah, I'm really gonna have to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Bubba, what you need is some food. Why'd you get something to eat? No thanks, Fred. I'm driving. <laughs> Come on in, Bubba. You're blocking the entrance. You won't even have to pay. All right. Person. You don't even have to pay admission. First of all, Fred Potbelly and all looks really nice in his tuxedo. The Potbelly's making it a twinge too small, but he looks great. They seem to be having some type of party. I don't know if it's a New Year party or what, but clearly, uh, dang, I forgot his name that fast. The gentleman has had quite too many. He was over poured, if you will. I love that saying. I think it's so funny. Um, and already the jokes are flowing. I love it. I, lo I think it's great. It's fantastic. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> you gonna let me in for free? Of course, you're my best friend, ain't you? Oh, they're yeah, best friends. Yeah, you're my best friend too, friend. I've been knowing you for 35 years. Oh! I know where you're going. Hey, 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 I love this. This is so funny to me. I am not like when I drink, I'm not the friend that like, you know, I think every in the friend group, there are personalities of people and then there's their tipsy personality. I am definitely not the emotional friend. Can y'all guess what friend I am? I'm going to I'm going to count to five. Did you leave it in the comments? Did you guess what friend I am? I'm definitely the aggressive friend. I'm like, did you just push past my friend? Did you just skip the line? Like, I'm like, I want all the confrontation. <laughs> I'm not proud of that. I'm not proud of it. And honestly, I should say I used to be because I'm definitely not. I definitely don't drink the way I used to when I was like in my 20s. I can't if I tried, but um, it's just funny because I think it's true and, and people can say whatever they want to say. But I think every friend group kind of has that person. So I love it. He's like, you're my best friend. And he comes in and then he gets all emotional about how, how much he loves him. I think that's great. Okay, I think the dodgy guests have just entered the chat. Uh, this guy might be shady, but his leather uh, brown, this is more of a, what color is this? Like camel leather jacket, trench coat? Spectacular. Hey, 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 Bubba. Hey, Bubba, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. Now, come right in. Mission is one dollar. Right, get the money. It's just a dollar? I want to call. <laughs> they didn't pay? Uh, that's it. Look around, fellas. Look around. Everything, everything's fine. Uh, admission is one dollar. Uh, payable in one big soft one or a whole lot of little hard ones. What are you trying to do? Crash the party? Where's my baseball bat? Hey, wait a minute. Bro. Yeah, they don't. Don't, don't do that. With those guys. They look kind of big. I don't care how big they are. They're trying to crash the party. Nobody crashes but me. And I think I'll start with their scubs. <laughs> Say, uh, pardon me, gentlemen. Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. I said it's a dollar per head. Or would you rather me make that one baseball bat per scub? <laughs> you in charge here? You the owner? Yeah. I'm also the owner of a baseball bat. <laughs> Look, can we go someplace where it's quiet where we can talk? It's a little too noisy in here. Is that? Look, we've had our talk, and the next noise you hear will be the rat-a-tat-tat of my baseball bat on your school. Fred is not scared at all. The other guy is behind him. Like, he's like, I said what I said. Um, okay, are they here for his friend who just went to the kitchen crying after being overpoured? Are they here for him? How about in here, huh? Come on. They just are disregarding everything you're saying. Don't be pushing on me. Right, push him. Look out, man, you messed my suit up. All right, Owen, come on. Come on, I'll sit down there. Listen, listen what, what, what is this? What is wrong with you guys? Listen, if you're not out of here by the time I count to three, you're going to be sorry. Sit down. One, two, three. Uh, okay, I'm going to count to ten. <laughs> One. Sit down. <laughs> you heard the man sit down. Say, oh, who he you talks. Guys, what do you want? All right, we'll put it to you straight. We want to be your partners. Well, ain't but two people in this junk business, me and my son. We're not talking about the junk business. We're talking about the party business. Huh? Look, you got a good thing going here. And what we propose to you is that you use the junk business in front 
as a dodge, you understand? While a party is going on inside. Oh, Drinking, no. gambling, fun, you understand? Fun. No, you fellas don't understand, see? This party is just for the night. We're trying to raise a little money. I know, but I say, why stop? Keep it going. That way we make lots of money. Keep it going. Yeah, yeah, continuously, 24 hours a day. Continuously, 24 hours a day? Fred needs his rest, guys. I, I, Fred, mm -mm, this is not a good deal. <laughs> 24 hours a day? Gambling, drinking, partying? Oh, I can't do that. This I'm is Vegas? Years old. That'll kill right, me. right. He needs to sleep. And then we'll just have to get another host. No, listen, oh. just forget about it. I ain't interested. Sat down. <laughs> what are you fellas, gangsters? <laughs> <laughs> protection you know just to make sure nothing bad happens you can't open up no place here you know what i mean not like that you gotta have a license a license show them the license oh lord jesus <laughs> i just knew it i just knew oh this is fred huh fred shut the party down fred it's time for everybody to go home i'm like what happens at the end of this episode there's only a like less than a minute left what what happens and where is lamont lamont your daddy has been gone in the kitchen with these two strange strange men for like five minutes lamont isn't that his name isn't that the son's name lamont sorry y'all something's itching my nose you in business good well, listen i ain't never been in no trouble with the law before and this sounds like trouble trouble why why we take care of everything your nose is clean yeah, my nose is clean, but the rest of my body gonna need a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll explain it all to you. Right, partner? What are you talking about, partner? Well, we're going into the party business together. You see, you got a good thing going here. But we're gonna make it even better. Listen, we don't want no partners, so you can just clear out of here right now because nobody's afraid. Hello, partners. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys later and keep the party going. Come on. Hey, Pop, who were those guys? They're, they're gangsters. They want to turn this place into a drinking and gambling joint. But that's ridiculous. We can't do that. But, but I'm afraid we're going to have to, son. Remember? <laughs> they made us an offer. We, we can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Even in a terrible situation, they found a way to make this show hilarious. I can't. All right, let me know in the comments how it ended. I'd appreciate it. Do me a favor. Don't do things like that. Those are bad things. Those guys are bad guys. Thugs, if you will. Go and have the day you deserve. Bye.